Yash Amraman and let's learn about guns, gun safety, assembly and disassembly. Let's go. Today, we're working with SAR arms. Inside our kit, we have our firearm, locks and a few other items which we will not get into today. First rule, keep the muzzle, that is the mouth of the gun, away from you at all times, unless you plan to use it. Never have the muzzle facing towards you or anyone else. Second rule of safety, checking. Start by emptying the mag, short for magazine, that is the chamber that holds the ammunition, and ensure to not let the mag fall. It's expensive after all. Next, inspect the firearm to ensure that it is empty. You'll need to rack the slide backward, which just means that you pull the top part of the gun back. And then, with your thumb, you lift the lever which stops the slide from falling back in place. Look well to ensure that the gun is empty. Once you've confirmed that it's empty, you can close the slide. Third safety rule. Pay attention to the safety pin. If you're seeing that small red dot, it means that the gun is not in safety mode and in gun terminology, we say it's hot, which means that you're ready to fire. So be sure to flip the safety switch. Now, let's move on to dismantling our firearm. If you look closely, you will see two notches. The aim is to have them line up with each other. So, pro tip, hold out your hand with your palm facing upwards. Place the gun and have your thumb come slightly across the indented section of the grip. Hold the gun in place and use your index finger to glide the slide backward in order to align the two notches that we mentioned earlier. Then, with your other hand, hold the muzzle to keep it in place. Flip the gun over and you'll see a pin. Use the mag to press against it so that it comes up then you can just take it out. Pull the slide forward and rest it in front of you. Now let's learn about the inside of the gun. There is the recoil spring and the barrel. The shorter the barrel, the more recoil you'll have. The one we're working with today is 4 inches. This is what your gun should look like disassembled. By the way, we're using a 9mm, lest I didn't state that before. And of course, we have our ammunition. To put the gun back together, we just follow the process backward. Put the barrel on the slide, followed by the recoil spring and apply a bit of pressure. Now slide in the slide by aligning the markers. If the slide gets blocked, just tilt it up a little bit and that's it. And just like before, line up the notches. Then look at the slot where you pulled the pin from. Ensure it's clear. Put back the pin and apply some pressure. Don't worry, you won't break the gun. And that's it. Now load your mag and put the safety on. If you wanted to load the mag, this is how you do it. We're working with two types of bullets. There's one with a closed end and then there's another that is opened and marked with some lines. The latter does far more damage as when it's fired it separates. To load the ammunition, use your thumb to hold down the red button light device. Press the bullet down, lift your thumb slightly and voila. Also, key point, to keep track of your ammunition, look at the side of the gun and you'll see some numbers 5, 10, 15. If you load the mag once you're at 5, if you look at the side, you will see a bullet showing through the small hole. This is a good indicator to keep check of your ammunition, more or less. 
Now load the mag. Ensure the safety is up. By the way, here are some other types of ammunition. We'll talk about these another time. Lastly, for those who are perhaps averse to guns, know that there are a lot of safety measures put in place. Therefore, to take someone's life is a deliberate effort. For example, with this particular gun, there are two clicking sounds. That's the first click, second click. The first one tells you that the gun is active, which gives you time to decide if you want to go through with your decision. The second click means you've made your decision. Anyways, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Also, what's your favorite firearm?